right. Well, thank you all for being here and for tuning in. Welcome to the first LA Late episode of the year. I'm your host, Carrie Cecil. And I know what half of you are thinking. A woman hosting a late night show? And I'm not Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> yes, of course, this is Hollywood, people. We have to push the envelope. And I know that the other half is like, a white woman? Well, this is Hollywood, and we can't push it that far. But have no fear, because I can assure you that we have the most culturally and ethnically diverse cast and crew in town. In fact, we are the most accurate representation of Los Angeles. Most of us don't have a proper job. Yeah. We live in tiny little apartments. And if Trump wins, 40% of us will become second class citizens again. <laughs> Out while the other 60% will be do deported to countries that we've never been to. <laughs> Funnily enough, we don't have any Jewish people. No, wait, we do. But he's from Hawaii, so I wonder, does that really count? <laughs> Another thing confusing me lately is the weather. Last week, I couldn't go hiking on two different days because it was raining. Raining here in Los Angeles. The housewives over there in Beverly Hills, they are melting. So that means either they're bad witches or Botox is not waterproof. <laughs> and the traffic accidents doubled. I know we need the rain to end this historical drought, but at what price? And that got me to thinking, wow, no wonder the rest of the world the, uh, hates us. We, t we make talentless people famous, and we can't handle a little bit of water falling from the sky. <laughs> but then I realized, they hate us because they can't be us. Right. right? Los Angeles is the greatest city in the world. We have culture, history, amazing food. Not to mention we got great beaches. Hello. Don't get me up there in a swimsuit. OK? Mm. Plus, we have mountains, perfect weather most of the year, and the best people you'll ever meet. And tonight, we pay tribute to the city of Los Angeles, the city of angels. This is LA Late, and we are in an LA state of mind. In tonight's episode, we sit down with the Sonic Queens. I know one day, jokingly, like, said, let me join your band. <laughs> and then we didn't take it as a joke. And later in the show, they will perform for us. Darcel Hoover will take us to discover Los Angeles and stay tuned to learn how to make some angelical drinks. We all love tequila, right? All this and more on LA Lake. Well, I hope you all are having fun tonight, are you? Yes. Woo! Great! Well, we have a great LA local band joining us in the studio tonight with a killer vocalist and two great musicians. Please put your hands together for Yaya, Art, Arthur from the Sonic Queens. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, you guys. Thanks for having us. So let's get right into it. How did you guys meet? We went to high school together. Yeah. We were in the line jazz band. I think Yaya played the con guys. Yeah, the, the timbales. Uh, she was actually, there was like a percussion section, so she was like right next to me. Yeah. He was part of the horns. Yeah, I pretended to play. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, about eight years Sorry, ago. Sorry, Mr. Flores. Wow. <laughs> eight years? That's a long time. So obviously you guys already had a passion for music, right? Yeah. 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 Well, awesome. So tell me, in all of these years, uh, when did you guys decide to get closer and come together as a group? Well, Arthur and I were playing already in a project, and uh, we wanted to explore the dance music genre. Yeah, so uh, we decided to start that, because he grew up listening to a lot of disco. He would always play like funky beats and stuff. So yeah, we started working on that. And then Yaya one day jokingly like, said, let me join your band. 
<laughs> and then we didn't take it as a joke. <laughs> yeah. I know, they took it very seriously, and now I'm here. <laughs> well, awesome. So um, tell me, how did you come up with the name The Sonic Queens? Uh, well, since Yaya jokingly said that, I thought, oh, great, we're going to have a girl in our band, finally. Or just all the groups I've ever been with have always been guys. I wanted to, like, do a queen since we had a girl, finally. Yeah, and I always wanted to have a band name with the word Sonic, just like that word. So we just put that together, Sonic Queens. Yep. Well, awesome. Um, so finding a name can always be, you know, a crazy story. Do you guys have any crazy stories or experiences, whether on the road or in, a, in the studio, uh, rehearsal? Yeah, we do have one. We were once playing a show, and a guy was crowd surfing, and he went and toppled over <laughs> behind the bar. <laughs> he hit the bartender. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now, y'all, don't get any crazy ideas. We might have a crowd surfer in the audience tonight. Or, hey, that guy. You know who I'm talking about, you in the white shirt. Don't even get any crazy ideas, okay? So I see you guys have an EP album, Synthetic Love. And I have to say, I heard the album before we started filming today, and I'm in love. I love the funky music. It made me want to dance. Thank you. Um, so can you talk a little bit more about your album? Uh, well, uh, the whole overall theme for Synthetic Love was uh, sort of the way uh, we kind of personified technology. Uh, and it was just uh, the whole theme was about how it's so present in our everyday lives and uh, something that bring is supposed to bring us uh, closer together actually is kind of distancing us from each other. Well, um you're going to be playing a song today for us. Um, what is the song you're going to be playing? Digital Moment. Digital Moment. Yeah. So um, can you tell us a little bit where Digital Moment comes from? It's uh, kind of like what Yadira was talking about. Um, well, the main topic is like living in the moment and not being so distracted by technology these days because yeah. it's so it's so present in our lives i think yaya had like an experience where she was like filming something once and she just really didn't want to film it she just wanted to be yeah. there yeah yeah so not watching it, a, it through a screen it was a personal personal experience kind of inspired all that i think it embodies the whole theme of the whole ep the best well i know i look forward i know you guys look forward to hearing it too right yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. But for right now, uh, Darcel has found the perfect spot for you to have a good time. In the heart of Los Angeles, California, there's treasures often left in the shadows of the Hollywood lights. We went back to basics to rediscover the City of Angels. Enough of that. Our first stop is La Placita Oliveira. Located in the oldest part of downtown LA, this Mexican marketplace is filled with rich culture where vendors offer beautiful pottery, home decor, gifts for family and friends, and of course, authentic Mexican food. And speaking of food, in the outskirts of Bunker Hill is the Grand Central Market, another great option to satisfy your appetite. Let's take a look at some of the food options. From fresh ingredients to delicious meals, there's something here for you. Or if you prefer to explore the city from above, City Hall offers breathtaking views of the north side, east side, and downtown. And don't forget to stop by the mayor's room.
And if at the end of the day, you need to relax, Grand Park is just across the street. So whether you are looking for entertainment, culture, or a gastronomical experience, you belong in LA. everywhere are finding ways to keep kids active and healthy. Works every time. Get ideas, get involved, get going at letsmove.gov. Good, good. Happy to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. And also joining us in the studio is Darcel Hoover. Hi. Hi, Darcel. Hi. That segment looked really fun. Who knew LA had public transportation? I tell you, it was really fun. And I encourage you all to go out and discover all LA has to offer. Absolutely. And you actually have inspired us to do this next segment um, for which Christopher Simpson is joining us in the studio. Hey, Hi, how are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, right. Thanks for having me. Well, so people, if you really want to experience LA but you don't actually live here, or you just don't feel like getting up and going out, we're going to show you how uh, to make some LA-inspired drinks. Isn't that right? That's right. You can bring the City of Angels into your living room. Well, let's get down to it then. Let's yeah? get down to it. Okay, now this first drink is called the Mulholland Drive, and it was created at a bar in the most famous corner of the world, Hollywood and Vine. It so, is famous. Right, and it's easy. Oh, well, what do we need? Okay, well, first of all, you're going to use a half an ounce of um, tequila uh, infused, uh, tequila that's infused, vanilla bean infused mm -hmm. tequila. Mm. Half an ounce. Vanilla bean okay. tequila. And then what you're going to use next is a half an ounce of ginger infused simple syrup. See, it's really hard to get out the bottle, so. Okay, just a half an ounce of that. Whoops. All right. Then you're going to use um, a half an ounce of juice from a lime. Mm. Okay, and then all of this goes, all of this ice goes inside of here. Then you're going to use uh, the soda water. So top it all off, right there, okay, and then you're going to put it inside of a shaker, Ooh. okay, and then just shake, give it a little shake, shake. Shake it, Chris, shake uh, it. Uh. Mm. Okay, be careful, you're going to have to get that top on tight, <laughs> if not, you're going to, okay, then you're going to pour it over ice. Ooh. Okay. Our ice machine's broken, so we're going to go ahead and just do it at room town. Okay, <laughs> and then... Voila, what you have is a Mulholland Drive. Ooh. Ooh. Let me taste it. Mm. Could use some ice, but yummy. All right. You know you guys want some, right? Yeah. We're going to have to check those IDs. <laughs> Just kidding. Y'all don't look a day over 60. So anyway, Chris, before we run out of time, what else do you have for us? Well, uh, Tequila Sunrise. Now, although it's not uh, actually um, uh, invented in Los Angeles, it was drank by uh, favorite, it was the favorite drink of uh, movie stars, old Hollywood stars, 
and there has also been songs written about it. So, so what do we need for this one? Okay, so uh, if you hand me that glass, what okay. you're going to need is now this is the original. Uh -huh. So you're going to need a half ounce of tequila. Mm. Half ounce of tequila. Tequila. All right, there you go. A little heavy on the tequila. Ooh, and then next thing you're going to need, you're going to need three fourths ounces of cream de cassi. Cream de cassi? Yes, cream de cassi. Mm, yes, so got Right on over in there. I don't understand what is going on with the cream. I'm All gonna... right, there we go. <laughs> Not too much All right, cream. And then you're going to need a lime oh, wheel lime. garnish. Oh, oh, it's already got one. Great, 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 great. <laughs> and uh, we just pour the oh. tequila and uh, we're going to use like a half a juice from a lime. You're going to fill this with ice. And then you're going to pour, uh, top it off with a little soda. Making me thirsty. And voila. voila. Well, there you have it. I can't wait to uh, the tequila sunrise. I can't wait to go home and try these in front of my TV. Thanks again, Christopher. You're welcome. Thanks this for having me. This was awesome. And thanks to you, Darcel, uh, for being here. And before we go, Jesse, I heard that you found a great alternative for theater lovers that are too broke to go to the big theaters. Yeah, of course I did, Carrie. Um, as a matter of fact, many people forget about local theaters here in Los Angeles, but it's a great way to go out and see plays without breaking the bank. Don't take my word for it, though. Here, roll the clip. Here we are in Venice, California at the Electric Lodge, the nonprofit space for music, martial arts, dance, and of course, theater productions. Local theater troops come out here to perform and showcase their theatrical productions. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Hello. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Rita! Happy birthday to you! Whoa. Hey guys, you remember my birthday? Yeah. Where'd you get these balloons? I got nine cents on the stores. <laughs> That's a lot of balloons! I'm flying away! <gasps> Rita, what the heck are you doing up there? And here we are in the Electric Lodge with Medi from Strindberg Laboratories. Hi. Tonight at Electric Lodge, about 45 minutes, we are going to perform Daroga's Curious Journey, which is a, a new show, a funny, mysterious, uh, crazy uh, story about this uh, curious circus troupe that we'll actually find out in the end what it is. And um, it's done together with Fact Family. We first uh, started to work for uh, once a week, uh, a month ago, we decided to have two times a week rehearsal, so it hasn't been that long. It's so inspiring. I, I love what you're doing here with all the people, and it's, it's very it's heartwarming and touching. All right, thank you. She doesn't know what to do. I can't even imagine what she's going through. I really want to help her. What can I do? I know someone who can help. Really? Who? Call 1-800-RUNAWAY. They help kids having a rough time at home, in school, or on the street. How else can you get in touch? 1-800-RUNAWAY.ORG You can do a live chat on their site. They will help get her to safety. Thanks, Ludacris. Trust the National Runaway Switchboard. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Welcome back to L.A. Lays. 
it's been a pleasure to share tonight with you. And it's almost time to say goodbye. Oh. But before we do, playing Digital Moment, give it up for the Sonic Queens! Yes. for joining us and where can we find out some more information about how to follow you and get your albums uh, head to the sonicqueens.com we have all of our social media connected to there and speaking of social media why don't you go ahead and follow us and like our page and thank you once again to our incredible guests let's hear it one more time for the sonic queens <laughs> and would you bless us with one more song of course thank you
The average text takes your eyes off the road for nearly five seconds. My life is full of statistics. Thing is, I could have dropped out of school and become one myself, but I didn't because I had people that believed in me. Here's another statistic. 7,000 students drop out every school day. That's one every 26 seconds. It's time that students know that we believe in them. Inspire a student and share your message of support at boostup.org.